Hey guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead and I just finished up doing our once a month grocery stock up for our family. For those of you that are new here, we have a family of nine and I have a grocery budget of $1,100 for the month and that breaks down to about $122 per person for the month and I strategically shop. I check out the sale ads each week so I can stock up on the loss leader items. And I try to keep up with which stores have the best prices. And by doing that, I tend to save quite a bit of money. And that's what allows us to stay within the grocery budget that we have set. So in this video, you can see the stock up things here behind me. I'm gonna go store by store. I hit 10 box, Aldi, uh, Kroger, Dollar Tree, and Walmart in this stock up. And I try to just buy the items that are the best prices at each of those stores. And at the end of the video, I will go through my list to show what I paid, my sale price that I paid, versus the price it would have been at Walmart. Just regular off the shelf price there. And then see what kind of money I saved by shopping this way instead of just running to Walmart, buying what I wanted to get, and that was it. So I always find it interesting, and I hope you guys do too. So we'll get started. We'll go to the end of the table and just go store by store, item by item. Here we go. All right, going down here to the end of the table, we always start with 10 box, which is just a local chain of grocery stores for us. Um, they what they do is they add 10% onto the uh, receipt whenever you check out and that's because they kind of market themselves like a warehouse grocery store and this 10% supposedly is what lets them stay in business um, if you are looking for the sales this week whether it's 10 box Aldi or Kroger um, these that I'm going to show you here are good through Tuesday July 16th so if you want to get any of these sales, be sure to go in before the sales change. Oh, oh boy, got my ceiling fan going. Uh, the one that jumped out at me this week, T-Bone Steaks, $5.66 a pound at 10 bucks. As a comparison at Walmart, you'd be paying $10.47 a pound there. So I did go ahead and get two packages of the T-Bone Steaks, and I will just set these in the freezer they'll be waiting on us for an evening whenever we want to grill and then we will be able to eat steak for much less than it would cost us at regular price i did want to point out the strawberries this week not a great deal at 10 box we're going to find uh, better deals at kroger and i'll show you those here whenever we get to the kroger hall down there on the flip side of the 10 box ad peaches are a decent deal at $1.18 per pound compared to Walmart $1.94 per pound there the russet potatoes $2.97 for a 10 pound bag which is a decent price Walmart you'd be paying $5.68 for a 10 pound bag didn't stock up on these because we just harvested some from our garden we are good on potatoes and then the same thing on chicken we just harvested our chickens so i have a freezer full of those but these are a dollar 32 per pound for the split fryer chicken breast and by comparison at walmart you would be you would be paying two dollars and 34 cents per pound the last item in the sale ad was the 73 percent ground beef at 277 per pound and by comparison you'd be paying three dollars and 17 cents per pound now I do try to look for the markdown items whenever I am in 10 box and I did run across they had some 80% ground beef with the markdown stickers on them. So I did go ahead and pick three packages of that up. The sale by date is today and I know it looks a little gray but I think that's because a lot of the blood has seeped out of it. I'm going to check it over and do the smell test and everything before I package it up for the freezer. But if this is good, which it ought to be according to the dates on there, then this is a spectacular deal. So I was very happy to get that. I'm going to divide this up into two pound increments, put it in freezer bags and put this in the freezer for future use as well. 
So my grand total at 10 bucks this week came to $72.66. And then my next stop was Aldi. So we'll go over that one next. So Aldi is typically my biggest spot where I stock up. I, I get the most things whenever I am topping off all of our pantries and all of our freezers. Aldi typically has the best regular price on things. So that's why this is usually my biggest haul. The items I did choose to get for this once a month stock up, I did get some Roma tomatoes. We do not have those coming out of the garden just yet. These are not on sale. This was just regular Aldi price. But today is Anna's birthday. She is turning 11. That's why we've got the happy birthday banner up today. And she has picked tacos as her birthday supper. So these will be used for part of supper tonight. I did also get some mandarin oranges. Now these are on sale. Let me look at the ad. Three pound bags for $2.99 at Aldi. And by comparison, you would be paying $4.98 per bag if you were buying that at Walmart. So I did go ahead and get two of those. These are just for snacking this week. Uh, the frozen salmon, I did get three of the two pound bags. I do like to keep these on hand. We go through one and a half bags per meal for our family. Uh, we've also frozen a whole bunch of pesto from our garden last summer. And we like to use the frozen salmon, slather it with that pesto on top, and then bake it. It is a delicious supper that we enjoy. So this will go in the freezer and will be used up probably one meal this month and one meal next month. I did go ahead and top off our turkey pepperoni stash, and I got two of those. This tops off our pantry. The frozen riced cauliflower, I got four of those. We have a family member that is grain free. And so we do go through this quite a bit when the rest of the family is having regular rice. I did get these for the first time. I've never tried the Aldi version of these drinks, but they're only 55 cents each. And so I ended up getting four of those bottled drinks. And I'm gonna try those out to see if I like them, and I probably will. So, got those. Two boxes of saltine crackers. We were totally out in the pantry, and I like to keep two boxes on hand, so it is now replenished. The corn chips, I did get three bags of those to top off the pantry. We just have these on hand for chili and things like that. One bag of the seasoned pretzels from Aldi. Um, Aldi tends to have the best deal on these. We did try these fancy chocolates here for the first time, uh, three different flavors, and just to see if the children like them. They get a treat after cleaning hour every week, and this gives them some variety. So went ahead and tried out these three. One head of lettuce, regular price. This is not on sale, but again, tacos for supper tonight. And all of our greens have bolted in the garden, except for a little bit of kale. So we do not have any lettuce here to use. Okay, back in the back. Again, that family member that can't have grain, I got some alternative pastas. And you all told me that Aldi had the best prices on these and you were right. So I went ahead and got a box of the chickpea rotini pasta and then the hearts of palm linguine pasta. And I'll just keep these in the pantry eight bags of frozen green beans and these will just go in the freezer and we will use them throughout the month three jars of the sugar-free peanut butter now i do want to say aldi is not the best price on peanut butter you know i said at the beginning of the video i try to buy items that are the cheapest price at specific stores this is an exception the sugar-free jiff at walmart is cheaper per ounce than this. This is organic. But my uh, family members that don't do sugar prefer this over the GIF. So we do pay a little bit more in order to get the kind that is preferred. The uh, lunch meat, two of the turkey breast. Aldi does have the best price per pound on this lunch meat here. It even beats Walmart. 
one thing of celery. I keep this on hand for things like potato salad. We grow celery in our garden, but it has bolted, so we do not have any on the property right now. And then my last Aldi item, that went fast, were the three packages of carrots here. Sometimes Walmart is cheaper per pound per ca for carrots, and sometimes Aldi is. This month, Aldi is the best price on carrots. So I did pick up three of the two pound bags of carrots there. It just feels weird that it went that fast. <laughs> okay, oh, well, let me go over. There were a few items that I didn't get that I wanna show you in the sale at. I showed you the mandarins. The cherries are $2.49 a pound at Aldi. That's a decent deal. Walmart is $2.98 a pound. I didn't pick any up because we, we gorged ourselves on those cherries last week. And then the cantaloupe, $1.99 each at Aldi this week. At Walmart, those are $2.88 each. And we are holding out for homegrown cantaloupe here. It's just store stuff just doesn't compare to homegrown. So we are holding out on that. But that is a decent price if you wanted to get it. Okay, grand total came to $118.29 for my stock up there. So my next stop then would be Kroger. So Kroger is next. And typically I find markdowns at Kroger, something, a salad mix or something in the clearance section, something with a reduced price sticker. And so this is abnormal. Not a single reduced price sticker at Kroger this week. I don't know, somebody beat me to it or something happened, but all that I got this week were the things on sale. Again, the lost leaders, because that's what I'm looking for. Um, what is in the sale at here? Um, strawberries. Those strawberries here, two pound packages for $2.99. Now this is a digital coupon, so you do need to clip it, and that means it is a limit of five as well. Um, at Walmart, you're going to be paying $4.12 for the same size packages of strawberries. Since it was a limit of five, I did get five, and we are just going to snack on these this week. These will be eaten up first because obviously they will go bad before something, you know, like the mandarins. These will last longer. So we will strategically eat the fruit so it doesn't go to waste. Uh, next item in the sale ad here, the two pound blocks of Kroger cheese for $5.99. Again, digital coupon, limit of five. Make sure you clip it. By comparison at Walmart, their two pound blocks sell for $6.34 a piece. And of course I got five of those as well since uh, that was the limit. And next item. The peaches and nectarines. Now, the peaches are a better deal at 10 bucks this week. These are two pound bags for $2.99. Um, I did choose to get the nectarines, so we've been getting peaches for a couple weeks, and the children were a little burned out on them, and sometimes the peaches were not good quality, so instead of gambling on it, we went with nectarines this week. The sale is $2.99 for two pound bags, digital coupon, so it is a limit of five, and by comparison, at Walmart, you would be paying $4.98 per bag for the nectarines. And I was able to get five bags of the nectarines. So we're looking forward to eating those up. Also in the sale ad here, double the fuel points just for shopping on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Make sure you clip that digital coupon and you just get rewarded for shopping over the weekend. So it is a good deal. The pineapples are three for $5. That is a good deal. It breaks down to $1.67 per pineapple. And at Walmart, you'd be paying $1.98 per pineapple. So I did go ahead and get three of those. They are green still. We'll just set them on the counter and uh, eat those when they're ripe. Oh, you see this back here? We're not gonna talk about that today. That is for something that I will talk to you about in a future video. So. Pretend you don't see that. Not there. <laughs> okay, the last item in the sale ad here, the Chuck Rose they had for $5.99. That is a decent price compared to Walmart at $7.47 a pound. There is no coupon on this or the pineapple. So 
There is no limit. You don't have to clip a coupon. Uh, there is no minimum to buy or anything like that, except maybe the three for $5 there. I did just pick up one package of the Chuck Roast, and this will go in the freezer for a stew in the future just to replenish what I keep there in the freezer. So that was it for my Kroger haul this week. It seems small as well. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking fast. Okay, grand total at Kroger came to $92.59. And then my last stop, I'll just probably bundle up Dollar Tree and Walmart together. But uh, that's where the last of my once a month grocery haul came from. So Dollar Tree does have a few things that they are the best of the best price on. And a couple of those I did go ahead and uh, refill the pantry with these items this month. One is the green tea. You guys have seen me get this in the past. Dollar Tree green tea is the best deal per tea bag that I have been able to find. Beats Aldi, Sam's Club, Kroger, Walmart, all the other places at $1.25 for 100 tea bags. So I got one of these to top off the pantry. We like to use this in making kombucha. And this is what Sean drinks just on a regular basis. Then the shelf stable milk. Now this is not something we use on a regular basis because we do have our Jersey cow Daisy that gives us amazing milk. But this is an emergency preparedness item that I do keep on hand for just in case. And I prefer to get it at Dollar Tree because it is the best deal. $1.25 for 32 fluid ounces in each carton there. And so that is a good deal. My grand total at Dollar Tree for these food items came to $5.30. We did get some other things for Anna's birthday there, but that comes out of a different budget category. Groceries was the $5.30. Okay, Walmart. Uh, some people think I don't like Walmart because I use them as my price comparison, but Walmart has great deals on certain products. The trick is trying to discern which products are truly a good deal and which products can you find for a better deal at different stores. And that's what I try to keep up with to the best of my ability. So the things that I have found that are better deals at Walmart as opposed to Sam's Club, uh, Aldi, I don't, all the other places, and uh, that would be the dog biscuits. Let me see. Those right there, we use these. We have our Great Pyrenees and uh, Lady, our Blue Healer, and they like to have these. They get them as treats when they take their medicine. So um, this is the best deal at Walmart for the big 10 pound box of it there. So I did get that and the dishwasher gel. You all know that I have switched over from the little powder pods and uh, we're using this instead. And Walmart has been the best deal that I can find. These here I get from Walmart, again, for that family member that is grain-free. Uh, these have been a big hit. So I like to keep these on hand in the pantry, just restocking from what was used up last month. The almonds, I did look, and Sam's Club is a better price per ounce than Walmart. However, the Sam's Club ones are just all natural, uh, not dry roasted, not salted or anything. And I think the taste of these we would prefer because of the dry roasted and the salted. It is still very, uh, where's the ingredients at? Okay, up here at the top. Almonds and sea salt are the only ingredients here. That is important to me, but I am willing to pay a little bit more per ounce to have that salt already on there. So three bags of those to replenish what was used up last month. Red wine vinegar, Walmart is the best deal on this. Okay, the creamer. I do not usually get store creamer, again, because we have Daisy the cow, she's a Jersey, she gives amazing cream. However, lately she is not giving us her cream. She is, it's, what, it's called, she's holding back the cream for her calf. And that seems to be what she's doing. So I am buying the store creamer here until we can get Daisy to start giving us some good thick cream again. The last item that I got were the freezer paper 
and uh, more tape. Uh, we did just process our Cornish cross meat birds, the chickens that we raised for meat. And I did go through quite a bit of my stockpile of freezer paper and tape in order to get some of those things ready for the freezer. We did can some too, but I did need to replenish that. So that was all in my Walmart haul for this month. And I should not have to step foot in Walmart again until my once a month grocery haul next month. That's the plan. So hopefully everything goes according to plan. But my grand total at Walmart for the month came to $75.10. So at this point, we will go look at the clipboard and I will do a product by product comparison to see since I visited the different stores and I strategically bought the items that I did, how much money did I save by doing it this way instead of just going to Walmart? Okay, we'll go on over here to the clipboard now and see how much money did I save. So I've got, okay, this is a basil plant from the garden here and the hurricane, the the leftovers from the hurricane that came through recently knocked the plant down. So that's why that's inside. A friend gave me a bunch of aloe and I need to get it in a pot. And these are sweet potato starts that are late, but we're going to plunk those in the ground anyway. And over here is the beginnings of Anna's birthday cake. This is a coconut cake and there will be coconut icing. That's what she has asked for this year. And we found pretty plates. 50% off at Hobby Lobby this week, so this is for Anna's birthday as well. So that'll be for tonight after the tacos are done. Okay, here we go. Let me put my glasses on. At 10 bucks, the top two items here, I did add the 10% upcharge to it. The T-Bone Steaks with the upcharge, I paid $47.87. At Walmart, I would have paid over $80 for those steaks at regular price. So that is a good sale. And then that markdown ground beef that I, that I found, I paid $20.69. Regular Walmart price would have been $40.87. At Aldi, the frozen salmon, I paid $29.25 for three packs there. And at Walmart, it would have been $31.44. The frozen cauliflower, I paid $6.76, and at Walmart, it would have been $8.68. The frozen green beans, I paid $7.68. Walmart would have been $7.84, so just a slight savings there. The turkey lunch meat, I paid $7.18 at Aldi, would have been $9.14 at Walmart. Those um, zero sugar drinks that I'm trying out, I paid $2.20 at Aldi, and it'd be $4.32 at Walmart. That peanut butter, I already told you about it being more expensive at Aldi. I paid $12.87 to get the preferred Aldi peanut butter. Um, if I had gotten it at Walmart, though, it would have been $9.43. So if you don't have a preference, go ahead and get it at Walmart if you need sugar-free. It is a better deal. Um, the grain-free pasta, the little packet, I paid $2.69. It'd be $3.98 at Walmart. And the box of Rotini, I paid $2.69, would be $3.98 at Walmart. Uh, those European chocolates, the three, I paid $7.63. Um, it'd be $16.20 for the most equivalent at Walmart there. So that is a good deal at Aldi. The turkey pepperoni, I paid $4.98. Walmart would be $5.96. I messed up on the celery. I paid $1.99 at Aldi, and Walmart had theirs marked down rollback at $1.88. So celery's better at, at Walmart. The mandarins that were on sale at Aldi, I paid $5.98. Walmart would be $9.96, so that is a good sale. Uh, carrots, I paid $4.17 at Aldi. Walmart is $6.48. The iceberg lettuce, I paid $2.15 at Aldi, but should have gotten it at Walmart. Again, they have done a rollback, and it's $1.94. So get your iceberg lettuce at Walmart. Saltines, I paid $3.38, and at Walmart it'd be $3.48. 
The Roma tomatoes, I paid $2.36. Walmart would be $2.60. The seasoned pretzels, I paid $1.99. Walmart would be $2.99. Uh, the Shelf Stable Milk at 10 box, I paid $3.75. The same amount at Walmart would be $8.94. So good deal at 10 box. And the Green Tea, I paid $1.25. It would be $6.70 at Walmart, which is just a crazy difference for green tea. Uh, Kroger, Chuck Roast on sale for $22.52. Walmart would be $28.08. Cheese on sale, $29.95 for 10 pounds. It'd be $31.70 at Walmart. The strawberries, $14.95 on sale at Kroger, and it would be $20.60 at Walmart. So that is a good deal. The nectarines, $14.95 on sale at Kroger, would be $24.90 at Walmart. And those three pineapples, I paid $5, and it would be $5.94 at Walmart. So, grand totals, here we go. I paid $266.88 by getting things on sale. And if I had just done a one-stop shop at Walmart, I would have paid $378.54, which means I saved $111.66 by watching the sale ads and checking for the best prices at each of the stores. And that number makes me happy. So <laughs> okay, usually I average around $50 per week. Being that this was a once a month stock up with the list being a lot longer, it does make sense that this number is larger too. So happy Janice. Okay, next thing we'll sit down with the clipboard again and see where I'm at with the grocery budget since I start with the $1,100. How much money do I have left? And where does the remaining money need to go? So we'll do that next. All right, guys, got the clipboard here and it's short and sweet now because it's the beginning of the pay period. So my husband gets paid on the 10th of each month. Uh, he gets paid once a month. And then I set aside, like I said, the $1,100. Uh, the grand total for everything that we just went through on the table here, all the stores combined with tax included, all the stuff comes to $363.94. That was for my once a month stock up where I went through all of our pantries, all of our freezers. I looked for holes where things had been used up and we refilled with the things that we just went through. So. With that deducted from the $1,100, I have $736.06 left to play with until um, August 9th is what we have to get through for our family for the pay period. Um, what needs to come out of that $736 still, uh, there are four weeks still left over uh, in this pay period for the weekly sale ads. So that's where I will study the sale ads and you know choose to stock up on the things that are the really good deals for the week. So four of those, plus a Sam's Club order, which ought to be a little smaller this month because if you watched the end of last month's, oh, the final wrap up for the grocery budget, I had a surplus last month and I did go into Sam's Club and use up that surplus restocking, just getting extra of some things. So my Sam's Club haul for this pay period should be smaller than usual. Um, and then an Azure Standard haul. That's what's left for the pay period. And as of right now, I know it's the beginning of it and things happen, you know, who knows? There might be just an amazing sale on meat and I stock up and my budget just, you know, diminishes greatly but as of right now everything looks great i should have no trouble staying within budget for the month so i'm excited i'm happy i'm looking around you know we, we're going to be putting all this stuff away here in just a little bit everybody's outside working right now so it's strange i'm in the house by myself um i kind of wish anna were in here and then she could show you um sarah made a skirt 
for Anna today for her birthday. The first project that has been completed using the new sewing room in the upstairs of the summer kitchen building outside. So it is a usable space now, guys. It's exciting. But uh, Anna's outside, so I can't show you the skirt today. Maybe another time. Um, as I'm looking around, thinking about where, you know, we're going to put these things away, I'm seeing some spaces in my cabinets, in my pantries, where I have items that need to be used up. So I need to be purposeful and strategic in pulling these things out of the cabinets and maybe just set them on the counter so they're in my way and I make a conscious effort of using them up. So that's something that I wanna be purposeful about during this pay period. And I'm gonna do again the Farmhouse on Boone trick where she pulls meat out at the beginning of the week, lets it thaw in the fridge and um, does a better job of getting through the actual meat products that do need to be used up. So I'm gonna to try to do that again. It's what I did in the, um, oh, what we eat in a week, the last one of those videos that we posted, and I liked it. It worked well, so I need to do that again too. But I'm gonna to try to be more purposeful and use up, you know, the things we have here, but also the things that are just kind of sitting I guess, does that happen to other people too? I don't know, it happens here. I'll find a good deal on something. We'll use that and then it doesn't have a home because it's not something that I buy on a regular basis. Like, okay, the French vanilla cream, this does not have a home in my house because it's not something we typically keep on hand. So if I find something like that, I make a home for it but sometimes those things get lost because it's not a normal thing, if that makes sense. That's where I'm at. So I will just keep up with you guys and let you know how the weekly sales are going and how the budget is going, and I will give you an update on the big pile of Aldi stuff. It's a secret for right now. So <laughs> I will spill the beans later on, though. I promise, guys. All right, if you enjoyed the video, you know, thumbs up. Double check you're subscribed. Share our videos with others, please. That really, really does help. And I guess that's it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching Ozone.